Instead of making the wealthy pay their fair share, some Republicans, some Republicans want Medicare and Social Security to sunset. I'm not saying it's a majority. <laughs> well, some reaction there, doubling down on that debunked claim that Republicans want to end your Medicare and Social Security. President calling out my next guest by name yesterday when he was on the road in Wisconsin. That man is Florida Senator Rick Scott. Sir, good morning to you. Thank you for joining our program today. You've been in the middle of this from the very beginning. Clarify what your idea was, because it wasn't just Medicare well, or Social Security. You wanted, to, you, you wanted to look at everything. As a businessman, yeah, that's probably where you're coming from. Go ahead. I, I did it as governor. I, you do it in business all the time. You go back and look. If you did something, you say, okay, did it work? So I said in my plan I put out, you can go to rescueamerica.com. I said, look, let's look at every program every five years. There's a lot of programs that we shouldn't be doing up here. And then if it's worth keeping, we keep it. You know, we do this with the defense budget every year. Every, we don't pass a 20-year defense budget. Every year we do it. We do it every year. We pass the National Defense Authorization Act. I also said we ought to tell the American public how we're going to preserve Medicare and Social Security. But here's, here's how Biden's a hypocrite. He wants to say Republicans want to cut Medicare and Social Security. I've never, I never will do that. I'm not going to cut their benefits. But guess what? Joe Biden proposed it. He proposed a bill when he was in the Senate to sunset everything. And, he, and I don't know if you've seen the quote. He says, when I argued that we should freeze federal spending, I meant Social Security as well. I meant Medicare, Medicaid, veterans benefits. I meant every single solitary thing in the government. Mm -hmm. That's what Joe Biden said. Right. Yeah, now, I, let, me get that in the let me get to that in a moment. I, I was 28 years ago, and we got something that will remind you of. That. But what he also said on Tuesday night, anyone who doubts it, contact my office. I'll give you a copy of the proposal. Now, is that true or is that a lie? I hope he gives everybody a copy, but you can do it online. You go to rescueamerica.com. You can look at it. I put out my ideas. I think everybody ought to. I want to make sure we, get, we balance this budget and we preserve Medicare and Social Security. If we keep going down the path we're going down, where we, we run in trillion, two trillion dollar deficits, there's no federal program that we're going to be able to preserve. And I want to preserve all the safety nets that our American citizens yeah, uh, care I, I about. Yeah, I get it. You, the other day you tweeted he rambled for a while. He was confused. But I'm asking you whether or not he was telling the truth. It, what, was he? Uh, what, was it a partial no, truth a or liar. was it a lie? It's a lie. The guy's been lying, I mean, the whole time. Uh, and, and, I've told, and I've called him a liar. I, I have a, I, he's coming to Florida. I'll be in Florida uh, tonight. Uh, I put an ad up saying, here's it not only does this guy lie, he actually didn't pay his Medicare taxes on his income after he was vice president. He used a loophole to not even pay his Medicare taxes. I mean, this guy's a complete hypocrite. Okay, you talked about 1995. I believe that was your reference. Here was the clip from back then, Senator Biden. When I argued that we should freeze federal spending, I meant Social Security as well. I meant Medicare and Medicaid. I meant veterans benefits. I meant every single solitary thing in the government. And I not only tried it once, I tried it twice, I tried it a third time, and I tried it a fourth time. That kind of, kind of sounds like what, what you're a hypocrite. asking for now. Yeah, what a hypocrite. I mean, here's a guy, he does, he, maybe he doesn't even remember what he said before, but he had to build a sunset everything, everything. And he tried. He tried for years to, to do it. And then he wants to accuse Republicans. I don't know one Republican that wants to reduce Social Security or Medicare benefits. We want to preserve them. And that's why we've got to figure out how we get a balanced budget here. And okay. now I'm going to fight like hell to do that. All right, so he's going to be in Florida today, your home state. Last question. How's your relationship with Senator Mitch McConnell? I work with all the Republican senators. I work with some of the Democrat senators. I'm going to work hard to represent my state. And I tell everybody, I'm going to represent the state of Florida. That's what I got elected to do. I, I mean, look, I, you can vote any way you want. I'm going to vote for the citizens of Florida. But are you guys cool with each other? Are you, are, are you talking? Well, he kicked me. He just kicked me off a committee. I mean, so that was pretty petty. Hmm. It's Commerce Committee. But you're on other yep. committees, right? I'm on armed services. I'm on home security. But I mean, think about it. I've been on the but, committee for four years. I probably ran the biggest business that anybody's ever served in the Senate. I, I was governor of the third biggest state in the country, third biggest economy, I think, of the country. And I got kicked off of commerce. But I've got a relationship with Ted Cruz, who's the ranking member. I'll continue to work on all the issues I, I need to work on on commerce. Okay, so I'm going to say I, I consider the, the relationship right now not cool with each other. Am I right? I'm going to keep working. I'm going to keep doing my job. Okay. All right. Senator, thank you for coming on today. We will stay in contact. Rick Scott right, from Florida. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.
I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.